experience program gives the students an introduction to Virginia Tech and also to their discipline. Each department in the university and college has the option to design their own course around first year and it gives them an introduction to a couple of different things. They are introduced to the, um, to the discipline itself. They are introduced to the Pathways Planner, the Common Book, Virginia Tech Values. It also incorporates inquiry, um, integrative learning, and critical thinking. I think what the first year experience really does is it brings students that came from all different walks of life. You have students that came from schools of maybe 60 people to schools of over a thousand. So they each have different uh, expectations and experiences and it kind of gives them a place to normalize what college really is. So it, and the first year experience brings them in, um, shows them about the department, the discipline that they're, they're entering into, some things that they should know about, uh, broad scale, as well as even things like time management, how to manage your classes. You know, most students are used to playing sports and having all these activities in class from a certain time, and then now they kind of have a lot more freedom. So it's a good way to kind of get people in and see, well, okay, what really is, is living on my own now? Students have to apply to a particular college or university studies when they're coming to Virginia Tech. So I think this really does give them the opportunity to dig into the discipline a little bit, get a sense in that first semester if it's really what they want to do. And then if they decide they want to do something else, they have the time to pick that later. But it also does give them a really good introduction to the disciplines that they'll be working in, the resources that are available to them like the library, like career services, and again, just gives a really good overview for someone who is on campus for the first time. The advantage for the library is we have a chance to reach the majority of the students and puts everybody on an even playing field. I also see it as a great way for them to learn about things they might not otherwise have known about. Um, there's like Gobbler Fest and other things that bring out together different student organizations. So it just gives them a, a greater awareness as to what is available here at Virginia Tech. First of all, we partner with all the faculty who are involved in first year experience programs and we can do any number of things for them. A lot of us will counsel and work with the faculty members in instructional design. We can help build assignments. We can help them think through what they need to do for assessments. And because we have librarians here who work with every different first year experience program, the library is really a nexus of ideas about what is going on in each of these different programs. They're introduced to library databases, to spaces in the library, services we can use. Most of the students coming to the university come from very small one-room libraries. And when they come here, they have access to 19 times the resources that they had in um, high school. So this is quite a change for them. By having the first year experience, it levels the playing field for everybody. Everybody pretty much gets the same introduction. We make sure that they're then ready to go on to their discipline-specific research, general research, all of these kind of things. I think the biggest benefit really it is it's giving them everything they need in order to succeed. Now they still have to make the effort, but they at least know resources available. I mean, even with career services, most students when they're entering in, they kind of have an idea of what they want to be, but then I've even seen students change when they, they see a new major or a professor comes in and talks about their area of research and they say, wow, I really want to do that, now how do I do it? And then there's this whole support network there to help them achieve a new goal that they might not have known that they had. So librarians really work one-on-one -on -one with the faculty to help support their program as best as possible. I work in at least three different FYE courses, and so I have times when I'm in just once with biological sciences, and they look a lot at career paths. So we're looking at how to create good assignments that help them to understand the resources available to them. And then in another class, I'm in there three or four times where we really work through the entire research process because their entire project is, is, is over the semester. And so we really show how they can integrate really good search strategies into finding the information they need. College librarians are so deeply embedded into the discipline, they have an understanding of number one, what the discipline requires, they know those resources, and they are able to adapt their instruction methods along with the assignments for these classes. Most of the classes that we work with actually are too large to even have inside the library, um, although the one 
difference would be the time that we did have the poster presentation for the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences here in the library. And then we crammed about 220 students and a bunch of administrators from the college into our multi-purpose room. And it was a really great experience. Um, but yeah, we certainly do move out onto the campus for a lot. Most of the classes that we teach take place in the students' classrooms, so they're already in an environment that they feel comfortable in. The way to integrate in a class setting is it, it depends on what the faculty wants is the biggest thing. So again, I'm going to take uh, College Natural Resources and Environment. That's one that I'm in uh, three different times. And so I come in and I lecture a little bit. We take a project, show how it relates to the project that they're going to be working on. And then we go through and I show them, well, how do you develop searches? How do you find sources to search? And then we have exercises that they run through. And so during their lab session, they work with their faculty members in their smaller classes and they actually fill out the worksheets and then move forward. Then the next week we come on and we pick up to the next step. Uh, evaluating information is one that also throws them for a loop because they think, well, I found it, so therefore it's good. So how do you validate what the resource you're using, why are you using, what of your topic does it address? So we have worksheets, again, exercises for them to work through. And all of this builds up into their annotated bibliography, which is one of their final projects. So they have to exemplify why they chose the source, what it related to, how it talks about their topic, and then how it fits in conceptually with the, the topic in a broad sense, as well as the little piece that they're showing. So obviously the libraries are really involved with that inquiry component because it's really similar to information literacy. But in my mind, it's also extremely interrelated with problem solving because one of the things that we work on probably in every single first year experience, is that research is problem solving. So you really can't get around that problem solving perspective. And for example, in the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences class, students use the research and use research methods to solve a problem. That is the way the class is laid out and that's really the way it's presented. Some of the other classes, depending on what they focus on, may look at problem solving differently. Engineering education, for example, certainly looks at problem solving in a little bit of a different way. Um, instead of focusing on that research component, they are actually looking at an engineering problem and applying engineering principles to that. However, when I come and talk to them, I point them to the resources and give them that support that they need to be able to do that. So problem solving is a huge component. And while it is separate from inquiry or information literacy, it's really integrated with that idea. And most students, when they first see a scholarly article go, I don't know how to read this. And so we as librarians help them to learn how to take the information that they need for their courses, understand it, and apply it. And it's also not just regurgitating it. I can, I can spill out facts and, and cite them back to you, but we really want them to start analyzing and putting their own scholarly voice into what they're finding and giving their own take on, on the resources that they're using. So it's, it's really an interesting, interesting course. And um, it's just, again, I've, I've worked with them for about four years now, and we've always tweaked it and we've developed it and said, okay, what worked, what didn't work? And then saying, okay, what are the students, what are they gaining? We do a pre and post information literacy test. Uh, our scores have been going up, so we know we're doing something good. <laughs> My favorite part of it is working with the students. I love to see the students come in. I love to work one-on-one -on -one with them, find out where their interests are. It's a lot of fun when you see that light bulb go off. It's like, oh, okay, that's how you do it. Uh, that's my favorite part. I know the easy answer is to say the students. And of course, that's one of the things that we all love about working at a university, not just the first year experience program. But the thing that I've really gotten a lot out of from this whole experience is the collaborations that I've had with my fellow librarians here. I mentioned that we often exchange ideas about what's working in one program and what doesn't. When we come together and we look at the assessments and what's going on in every single different program, it is just a really positive experience to be able to share with everyone, have sort of a common topic that we're talking about, and be able to exchange ideas. It's been a really healthy and really positive experience to work with everyone on the project. I really enjoy working with the faculty and coming up with new ways to get students excited about research because um, a lot of them think, well, it's just another paper I have to do, but how they can really become involved and really take ownership of the research project that they're doing. I really enjoy finding ways to do that, make those connections, and then working with the students. I mean, that's one of the reasons I got into academia. I really like working with students and watching them progress as they start kind of with that, well, I already know what I'm doing, to wow, I didn't know there was so much out there. So it gives them a chance to really expand and grow as a student. I just I love watching that growth happen.